Welcome to my 20 video lecture series. In this video, we're going to use reference angles to solve the trig trigonometric function values of angles. So, balikan muna natin yung previous lesson natin about circular functions and trigonometric functions. So, parang pareha lang naman, no? Sabihin mo, ah, yung circular functions, pareha lang na... Pareha lang siya sa trigonometric function na may cosine, sine, tangent, etc. Actually, parang pareha lang naman talaga sila. Meron lang silang subtle difference. Yung subtle difference sila is that yung circular functions, ang domain niya ay the set of real numbers. Yung trigonometric functions naman, ang domain niya are the set of angle measures. Pero para hindi nakakalito, pwede mo siyang isipin na isa lang. Pero dapat, ang measure ng angle mo ay radian. So, pag naka-radians ka, parang circular functions na rin yun. Okay? So, pero ngayon, ang focus natin is we're going to solve the trigonometric function values of uh, angles using reference angles. So, ano muna yung reference angles? So, ay! So, lagi tayong may angle in standard standard position. So, kuwari, ito yung angle natin. Ire-red ko na lang. So, this is the initial side. Ito yung terminal side. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin reference angle, yung reference angle is the acute angle formed by the terminal side and the x-axis. So, in this case, this is the reference angle. So, paano kung ganito yung itsura? Oops. Okay. So, this is our, kuwari ito yung angle natin. So, nasan dyan ang reference angle? So, yung reference angle ay terminal side ng angle at saka yung acute angle formed by the x-axis. So, ito yung acute angle. Okay. Okay, one last. So, paano kung et... Ay. This is our initial side. And this is our terminal side. So, let's say this is our angle. So, ang reference angle natin dyan ay ito. Kailangan acute angle na nafoform ng terminal side sa positive, ah, sa x-axis. Not necessarily positive x-axis. Okay, basta yung x-axis, yung mas maliit na angle sa terminal side. Okay. So, paano natin i-compute yung trigonometric function ng angles using reference angle. Okay, but before that, magbigay muna tayo ng example. So, let's say our uh, alpha, oops, ang laki, alpha is 150 degrees. So, ano yung reference angle niya? Ah, reference angle, gawin na lang natin alpha bar. Okay, pag sinabi natin may bar, reference angle yun. So, alpha bar means the reference angle of alpha. So, let us draw alpha. Where is alpha? Ay. So, 150 degrees in standard position. Somewhere, andito yun. Okay, so this is 150. Ay. So, this is 150 degrees. Sabi natin kanina, ito yung reference angle niya. So, 180 ito minus 150 you get 30 degrees. So, ang reference angle niya is, reference angle ni 150 degrees is 30 degrees. Okay? So, ang tanong, paano nyo makocompute yung trigonometric function nung angles? So, actually, madali lang. So, una, let's say, pinapahanap sa inyo yung cosine alpha 
Pare sine alpha, tangent alpha, etc. So, focus lang tayo sa isa. Let's say cosine alpha. So, pwede nyo i-compute muna si cosine alpha bar or cosine ng reference angle and lalagay nyo na lang kung positive or negative depende kung nasa quadrant si alpha bar. So, de so to, to determine the trigonometric function value of any angle alpha, simply get the reference angle alpha and find the trigonometric function value of alpha bar, yun yung reference angle. And then, affix the proper algebraic sign to this value by taking note which quadrant contains alpha. Okay? Hindi pala alpha bar. Alpha. Okay? So, ulit ha. So, kung meron tayong cosine alpha, compute cosine alpha bar muna. Tapos, yung plus or minus dito will depend... on the quadrant of alpha, ng original angle, hindi alpha bar. Okay? So, kuwari, kung cosine alpha, compute for cosine alpha bar, maglalagay ka ng positive or negative depending on the quadrant of alpha. Okay, so let us do some examples. Let's say, cosine, yung kanina, 150 degrees. Okay, alam natin na ang reference angle ni 150 degrees is 30 degrees. So, maglalagay na lang tayo dito ng kung positive ba or negative siya. So, since 150 degrees is in quadrant 2 and cosine is negative in quadrant 2, dapat negative siya. And what is cosine 30 degrees? So, kung hindi pa sana, you can convert this to radians. So, 30 degrees is pi... Uh, divided by 6. 180 degrees divided by 6 is 30 degrees. And cosine pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2. Okay, let's do another example. Tangent 225 degrees. So, let us compute for the reference angle of 225. Nasaan ba yun? sa unit circle. So, 180, pagdating dito, this is 2, 2, 5 degrees. So, that is 225 degrees. So, itong reference angle niya ay 225 minus 180, which is 45 degrees. So, i-compute natin ngayon is tangent 45 degrees. So, meron pang sign dito. Yung sign dito will depend on the original angle, 225. So, nasa quadrant, 3 tayo. Si 225 degrees. So, tangent there is positive. And, what is tangent 45 degrees? So, inalis ko na yung plus kasi automatic na yun, understood. 45 degrees in radians is pi over 4 which is 1. Okay? Okay, second to the last. What is cosecant 300 degrees? So, let us compute for the reference angle of 300 degrees. Nasaan ba si 300 degrees? 180, So, somewhere nandito si 300 degrees. So, ang reference angle niya is ito. So, gano'ng kalaki iyon? So, yung isang rev, 360 degrees minus 300. So, this must be 60 degrees. So, cosecant, 60 degrees. Okay? So, ano yung sign? So, nasa quadrant 4 si 360 degrees. Cosecant there is all sin taco. Cosine tsaka secant lang daw ang positive dito kapag nandito yung angle. So, meaning, negative dapat si cosecant. So, you write a negative there. And what is cosecant? 60 degrees. Uh, 
convert natin to regions kasi sanay tayo doon. Uh, para inline siya sa alam natin sa point function. 60 degrees is pi over 3. And cosecant is 1 over sine. And sine pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2. So we get negative 2 over square root of 3. Okay? Okay, last example. Oops. So, what is secant 495 degrees? Okay, so let us compute for the reference angle. Okay, so isang ikot, 360. Ay. So isang ikot, this is 360 degrees. So add tayo ng 90. 360 plus 90 degrees, 0, 5, 4. So 450, so lampas pa dito si 495. So somewhere andito si 495. Okay. Ang tanong, ano yung reference angle niya? Actually, pag sobra-sobra sa 360, ang ginagawa ko muna, nag a or subtract ako ng 2 pi, parang sa point function, pero yung 2 pi, isipin nyo na 360 degrees lang yun. So, mag-subtract tayo ng 360 sa 495. So, ilan yun? 8. Ay, hindi pala kailangan. 3. So, 135 degrees. Okay. So, parang atupagin na lang natin ngayon si 135 degrees. Actually, itong angle na to, siya yung sinasabi natin 135 degrees. So, ang reference mo dito ay 180 minus 135. So, ilan yun? I think that is 45 degrees. And nasa quadrant 2 tayo. So, alamin mo kung positive or negative. So, using all sin tako, sa quadrant 2, si sin lang at saka si cosecant lang ang positive. So, meaning secant is negative. And, para hindi mahirapan, ginagawa kong radians, 45 degrees is pi over 4. So, negative. Ah, kuwari hindi nyo alam yung value niya. Pwede, pwede mo sabihin that is 1 over cosine. But cosine pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. So, ang final answer is negative 2 over square root of 2 or negative square root of 2. And there you have it. So, yan yung paggamit ng reference angle to compute for the trigonometric function values of angle. So, ulitin lang natin yung rule. Paano yung rule? If you have an angle alpha and you want to find the trigonometric function value of that alpha, compute for the reference angle alpha bar. Okay, yung trigonometric function value doon. At lagyan mo lang ng positive or negative. Depende kung nasa ang sign yung original angle na alpha. And that ends our video lecture today. Goodbye!